Hello, my name is Marta Pombo and I am recording this video for you uh, because I want to recommend you five books I have recently read and I have enjoyed them very much. They are all by the same author, uh, Mario Savione, and you can find him on the internet. And well, what I can say, his five books are mainly collections of uh, short stories and poems. I like them basically because I think they are all beautifully written. Uh, when I started to, to read them, I could immediately identify myself with the situations, the characters that Mario Savioli presents, and I thought that maybe this could happen to you as well. Well, um, Mario Savioli's poems and short stories basically deal with our everyday problems, so that's why I think I any of us can identify him herself with with the situations. Uh, the author is very critical uh, of our society nowadays, of our capitalist system, um, which is bringing us so many wars and unnecessary, unnecessary uh, war conflicts in our world where a lot of people are suffering and dying. And North America is seen as the clearest example, but we have to see that it is not the only country doing this. Uh, this sort of wrong policies and um, where people tend to value for what you have instead of for who you are. Like, um, do you have a good career? Are you earning good money? Do you have a big house? And this is given more importance than uh, to the fact that you are a human being. And if you're financially insufficient, then like you're a failure in society. So. Uh, these books are very critical of that and also uh, they talk about the difficulties that uh, writers and artists face in this kind of materialistic capitalist world where just economic profits count and if you are somebody who is not earning enough money, who uh, is producing a lot of art or literature but um, you are not a famous person, then uh, this doesn't count. This is not being seen as productive in our capitalist system where we uh, have to produce more and more, faster and faster and always uh, having more more hours, working hours and less and less money and like this vicious circle that we have and then we come home exhausted and, and we don't have time to think, we don't have time to question ourselves if this is the right model that we want for our world. So we will find all this critique in all his books and I would say that there are mainly five themes in his work, in these five books, and the five themes are to be found in all the books. They interrelate. And uh, the first one would be, the first theme would be the non-acceptance, uh, like I said, of a writer, of an artist, in a too materialistic society. Then the second theme we find is the impossibility to fulfill a love relationship, to make love relationships last. Because uh, for one reason or another there is always a conflict, uh, like if you are an artist not earning enough money then the other person will say, ha, oh, I don't want you to have uh, uh, as a partner and Mm, you are not giving me what I want, you're not giving me children, you're not giving me uh, financial security, and then the relationship just fails. Yeah? So I said, uh, topic number one, the non-acceptance of an artist writer in a too materialistic society. Topic number two, the impossibility to fulfill a love relationship, to make it last. Then the theme number three would be the problem of a mother losing self-governance somebody who's getting old and old and older and mm, is becoming more and more dependent. And then number four would be the question of America's identity and this critique uh, of uh, these imperialistic policies that, that uh, create unnecessary wars and so much suffering. And then finally, topic number five would be the increasing, in general, the increasing human injustice in our capitalist world. Um, well, because of all I have said, I really think it's worth that you start reading these books. Maybe you like them as much as I do. And um, well, I'll I'll talk about the first book I read, which was uh, Blue Emptiness. Uh, you can get this book um, 
on paper. You can buy it on paper or you can also buy it um, as an e-book and you can just read it on your tablet. Um, well, Blue Emptiness, I would say, this is not just a collection of, of poems and, and short stories. It is like a long uh, short story or a short no uh, novel, yeah? Um, just consider it as you like. Uh, it's a very nice story, it's very musical, it's prose poetry, and it has some poems inserted in between. And I would say that the main theme of this book is the artist's life journey and like I said before, the difficulty to be understood by this materialistic society where people value uh, for what you have and not for who you really are. And the other book that I read, uh, the second one is A Man Looking at Women, and you can also find it, no sorry, This Way, this way to the End would be the second book, yeah? And you can also find it uh, e uh, electronic or, or, or on paper. This Way to the End uh, has uh, the main theme. Like the five themes I mentioned, they all interrelate, but uh, specifically to this book, the main theme would be the individual's eternal search for truth and beauty. Uh, like we see, um, in a way, the author wants us to, to all to, to realize what's wrong in this world and the, the artist, the writer, is somebody seeking beauty and seeking truth and he wants us all to be like that, to realize that, yeah? Um, well, again, there is this critique uh, of capitalism uh, where a series of needs are created and where these needs destroy human relationships at all levels, yes, because they create power abuse. Uh, a collective is abusing another collective, a person is abusing another person, and so on. And, uh, well, uh, the other book is A Man Looking at Women, and the main theme here is Man's Search for True Love, I think. Uh, it has very beautiful images, very beautiful metaphors, uh, the rest of the books, and here the author uh, describes women, how he perceives them, uh, how they, because of their touch, their scent, because of how they move, mm, and at the same time the author is very critical with both men's and women's behaviors as far as love relationships, as far as one person abusing the other, okay? It's very, very, uh, it's a very nice book. Uh, it has lots of uh, very vivid images. It's very erotic sometimes, and it's lovely written. And then the other book I want to talk about is Uncertainty. Uncertainty's main theme uh, is an introspective journey. Uh, it deals with the most inner thoughts and feelings that we associate with life, love, and death. Yeah, like uh, love appears, uh, like I said before, as something that it is not possible to love. Then uh, we see that how the male voice of many poems and stories uh, is aware of the passing of time, of death coming closer, and very, very many existential uh, questions. Uh, we can see an influence. Uh, uh, of the existentialist philosophers like Heidegger and, and Sartre, for example. And you see, it's just a very beautiful story. Again, uh, we see the, the artist and the writer's difficulty to be free in this world, uh, to be understood by uh, his, her lover, uh, or by the relatives, or by the friends, or people at work. And life is really a ticking clock, eh? so the hour of my death is approaching, in this case this is, this is really understood here. And, and we find all these themes, there's God as well, God is seen as a figure of, uh, it is something that brings you hope. God is not seen as an evil person or an evil something, but um, God leaves you certain freedom, a certain degree of choice where uh, you as a human being, you can take this road or this other one, and we often take the, the wrong path and we often do very wrong things at many levels, yeah? And the last book, number five, 
after. After's main theme uh, would be a strong claim against uh, this human injustice I'm talking about. Um, you see that the, the um, we see that the, the, the author doesn't like what's happening, he doesn't like uh, this material society, this capitalism, this brutal capitalism, this unnecessary war, uh, wars. Um, you will see that many poems deal with uh, uh, present conflicts, conflicts in Afghanistan and Palestine, and this greed that human people have for oil in the Middle, we in the Middle East. Then there is also the question of America's identity, of going back to the principles of its foundations. Uh, Mario Savioni believes that these uh, principles have been perverted and that we should go back to uh, what was initially good, so to the Declaration of Independence. So in this respect, we see the North American question. But it is also a universal question because North America is not just the only country doing wrong things. And um, we have strong criticism here on uh, these policies. And, well, apart from that, um, what I would say, I could start reading a little bit of uh, an excerpt or, or a short story, but this is just a video to give you a general insight into his work. And I would recommend you to just buy the books and see by yourselves um, Try to enjoy each and every uh, short story, each and every poem. Uh, just try to, for me, it's been a very nice experience trying, uh, reading them, rereading them, because you think them, but you also feel them. You, 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 you become identified with the situations. You enjoy the musicality. You, it's like you, you feel your, the whole writing, the poems, the short stories, with all your senses. It's really there. You are immersed in, in, in the stories, in the poems, and maybe it's at times you don't understand exactly everything, but it doesn't matter. You just go again, you have a look at them, you read again, and, and maybe you'll have the same, you'll experiment the same joy I have experienced while reading these books. And I really think that um, all, Mari, all of Mario Savioni's books are. Uh, beautiful because they are authentic. I think the author really writes from the heart and well you can find uh, more uh, on Mario Savioni uh, looking at his blog here and also you can uh, go to the following pages. And you will find that I have written five reviews on the five books I've read. And you can also read them. And you can just, uh, why not try to buy one of the books and, and just try reading and see if you like it. Well, thank you very much for watching this video.